Hi, my name is Ling Luang, and I'm the Program Director for the Project Management Degree Programs at City University of Seattle. Today we're going to talk about proven practices as part of group or teamwork. I'll be sharing the strategies that we use and has worked as part of our courses and how Blackboard helps with team building. Putting theory into practice is easier than you think. As part of our practitioner model, we try to demonstrate skills and techniques in the classroom that students can use in the professional setting. We want to reflect the learning from the classroom to be put into practice. The philosophy of our project management programs is what you learn today you can use for tomorrow. Some of the tools that I implement in my class will show the student experience of working as part of a good team. When a student does experience a good team, it becomes rewarding and satisfying when they learn how to overcome all the challenges. In fact, I'll even go as far as to say that bad teamwork exists in the workplace today, and learning how to overcome those challenges helps build character and skill. I'll be talking about five proven practices that we use in our project management courses. The first one is a personal SWOT analysis versus a student introductory assignment. I start the beginning of each of my classes by asking many of my students to develop a personal SWOT instead of their student introductory assignment. This gives the students some self-reflection on their strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats to help them through the course. This also allows their peers to examine them to see if they want to be a part of their team. I tend to match up strength for strength and give some attention to the groups that have higher risk of floundering. The second practice that we use is called the project timeline. Along with the course schedule, we use a project timeline to break down the assignments into manageable parts and provide information such as step-by-step -step or deliverables that are due in differing formats so the students understand what is expected and steps to follow if needed. This helps set expectations early as well as any information for the students to start working on some of their projects. Some of the other tools that we use exist in the tool section of Blackboard. One of these tools is called the Wiki. We use the Wiki as, in terms of a group contract, which allows team members to identify their contact information, their availability of time and schedule, as well as the ground rules for the team. This ex sets expectations for each of the team members, as well as identifying the person accountable for each of the project activities that are available in the assignments. So it allows team members to see who's accountable for which items and milestones, as well as setting expectation who's responsible for what as part of the team project. Another tool that we use in the tools section are blogs. We use blogs in a way to communicate project status for each of the teams. The teams provide a status on what they've accomplished, what they need to accomplish, and what issues they are facing in order to accomplish the next steps. This allows the instructor to see any issues that arise as part of the team project. Another very powerful tool that Blackboard has is called Blackboard Col Collaborate Ultra. We use Collaborate Ultra in order to set up team presentations or meetings on one-on-one -on -one with the instructor and the students. This allows the teams to set up meetings and presentation with the classroom as well as the instructors. This is how the students communicate with the instructor as well as communicating with each of their team members. The teams can meet with each other online as they create their own sessions, as well as the instructors can create a sessions for the whole entire class to see presentations for each of the groups. So I encourage you to use these fantastic tools that are available in Blackboard to help facilitate some of your team or group work. So the proven practices that we know as part of the project management program is making sure that we set expectations early for the students, we set clear deadlines and deliverables for the student group projects, as well as checkpoints along the way. That's where you can see their status reports in the blocks. As an instructor, we have to hold the students accountable. We can do this in several ways. 
For example, we can use team peer evaluations for each of the team peer members to evaluate their group members to see how well they're doing as a part of a group. And this counters any grade worries that they might have in working with other team members as part of a group project. Blackboard has many online collaboration team tools. It allows you to set up groups in Blackboard. Blogs help you provide status reports. Wikis help you provide team charters. And Collaborate Ultra helps you present with the student their group projects. So it allows you to have your one-on-one -on -one with students as well as present class presentations as part of their projects. So these tools are the ones that are very helpful as part of our um, group team collaboration.